Good morning from rainy Rainforest, Washington. My goodness. Uh, I'm still at the spot I was uh, I parked at last night next to the water. Um, I can't tell you guys the GPS locations, not because I don't want to, because I have no service up here and uh, GPS isn't really working. Although, I suppose we, I could try and explain to you where I am. Um, I am a little bit west of Shipwreck Point, right next to a big old curve. Off to the right, it's a big old pullout. This is what happens when you uh, forget to close the drawer here. Everything comes flying out when you're driving down the road. Also, if I did this build over again, I wouldn't use real hardwood floors. They're just too delicate uh, for a vehicle. So, there I am just mopping up my wet feet. I don't know what the today's plan is. As you can see, it's super wet. Uh, it's raining uh, yeah, pretty hard intermittently. Uh, two options, uh, either go to Port Angeles and go to Costco and some other stuff and cross the bridge, uh, ferry I should say, uh, to uh, Canada or go to the hot springs and then maybe go later tonight or tomorrow. Either way I need to stock up because uh, that uh, the Campbell soup is not cutting it and uh, I need some other supplies too, water, etc. Groceries on the count of one, two, and three. All right, check it out. This is what 84 bucks gets you. I got some bread, all organic. I got more of these good soups because, well, they're good. Also, ton of frozen veggies. Like I said, trying to, you know, lose a little weight, get back to my comfortable size where my pants fit me. Six uh, things of water and my guilty pleasure. Guys, this is like probably going to be a little bit on the disgusting side. These cheap... <laughs> Spiced giant calamari. They're like so good and they're in oil. I don't know. Call me weird. Anyways, so let's go to Canada. This is where the ferry will come and pick us up. Uh, I paid 80 bucks to these fine people at the Black Ball Ferry Line. Reservations can be recommended when it's busier, but this is a, the setup in the scene. Dan the Adventure Bus is in the back. We got some bigger RVs. By the way, it was 80 bucks. 80 bucks, 80 freaking dollars for one way just to go to Canada. Um, Canada, you better be worth it. This is the first time I'm going on a ferry ride ever, and it's also the first time Dan the Adventure Bus is going on a ferry ride. So how cool is that? Well, I better pay attention here. After you leave your vehicle there, you jump inside the stairs and you go to the lounge, I guess. Here's the uh, rooftop, so. Pretty cool. I think it's about a um, 90 minute ride, and then we'll be in Canada, laying of maple leaves, mooses, and healthcare. So this is what it is like taking the afternoon ferry. It's, uh, light is very beautiful. I'm outside here on the deck, it's a little wet. Got a nice big old barking dog over there. And uh, I would say, pretty smooth ride. Oh, hello Canada, you are so, so beautiful. Uh, made it over here to uh, Canada. Hey, Canada. Hey. Uh, border guy guards were super nice, by the way. Last time I went into Vancouver, they weren't so nice. So Victoria Island, you get a thumbs up. Uh, <laughs> and uh, hey, guys, uh, if you're watching this video, um, I don't know where to go. Um, I don't know where I am. And I don't know where I am going to park. So tonight's going to be a fun one. 
But look at that sunset. Isn't it pretty? This has got to be one of the more hilarious places I've ever parked for the night. So I called this place called the View Royale Casino, which is over here. This is a parking lot for it. And I inquired about sleeping overnight in the parking lot because that's a common thing. And <laughs> the nice security person was like, well, we're in a construction in the parking lot, but there's a cul-de-sac at the end of the, the way. So here I am, right there. Um, so it's a pretty quiet little spot. This is the kind of place where like nobody was anywhere living around here. So there were, you know, when you're stealth camping in a city, those are sometimes the kind of places you want to avoid because, you know, although I don't look like the creeper van, sometimes people get the wrong opinion about people who are living in vehicles. <laughs> so anyways, long story short, this is my spot for the night. And I obviously will let you know if there's any problems. I don't anticipate any. Um, and I'm looking forward to tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be an awesome day. We're gonna be meeting up with uh, Forrest, Forrest the Filmmaker on Instagram. And we are gonna make a video for his channel. He has uh, vehicle dwellers, tiny homes, stuff like that, vans, buses, um, all that good stuff. Uh, also, that was a score at, um, at Walmart with these vegetable things. I did a, not even a whole one of these things. It was so cheap too, it was like $1.88 or two bucks or something with one of these Amy's organics. And I gotta say, Amy's is way, way so much better than the Campbell stuff. And also it's a lot cheaper at Costco, so I'm gonna try and stock up on this over there. Low sodium. You gotta watch out for the sodium, I guess, when you do canned stuff. Anyways, I know your time is valuable. I appreciate you spending it with me, and I will see you guys on the road tomorrow.